A very common question is, what is an air source heat pump and how does it work? Well, essentially, it collects heat from the air and concentrates it to provide space heating and water heating into a building. How does it do that? Essentially, you've got an outdoor unit, just like the traditional air conditioning system. It sucks warm, ambient air in the back, extracts the heat and blows cold air out the front. And it uses a gas compression cycle just the same as a fridge or a freezer to do that. So we have a liquid refrigerant, we add heat and it boils. The compressor that's inside the heat pump squeezes the gas and that makes it into usable heat. And that heat is transferred into the building. There's two sorts of air source heat pumps. We've got splits and monoblocks. So a split is where this, the fan and the compressor are separated from the evaporator on the system. So we can take heat from outside and then run run that heat through a bit of refrigeration pipe, maybe 30, maybe 50 metres back to the property and then there's a unit on the wall, very similar to a wall hung boiler, that takes that heat and transfers it into water which can then go through the underfloor heating, the radiators, fan coils or into the hot water tank. The other option is a monoblock. So on a monoblock you've basically got, it's a mono, it's a single unit. The compressor and the heat exchanger and everything are all in the outdoor unit. So the compressor does its stuff, and then we've got a pair of pipes on the back which carry warm water back to the property. Generally you'd put these a lot nearer to a house, ideally on just on the outside wall, but if you were to put them further away then you need some very highly insulated pipe to carry that heat back, because we've gone to a lot of trouble to make the heat and we don't want to lose it. So therefore that pipe it can be around £50 a metre, so ideally you want to get it as near to the house as you possibly can. Air source heat pumps work down to minus 10, minus 15, the refrigerant in them which goes from a liquid to a gas down to those temperatures so they will still work even when it is very cold. I've got a Swedish heat pump at home, that's designed for grotty Swedish winters, it works very well.